hi everybody welcome back to my channel it is me td red we're back on your screens once again and in today's video i am going to be talking to you guys about hair supplements and a few things you guys should stop doing uh to your hair so that it can actually stop growing so without any further ado let us get right into today's video <music> So first thing is first, I have already opened these and I ate one, I'm sorry, but they're really sweet. Here's one thing I can show you. So these are the, these are the Neo Vita hair supplements, basically. They are for skin, hair, and nails. They have biotin, folic acid, and vitamin C. I'm anemic in case y'all don't know that. So I am already familiar with um, folic acid and vitamin C. I do take vitamin C every now and then, but I am not on any medication currently because my iron is goods but i do see a little bit of my nails like starting to show some few signs but i'm not too stressed about that because i'm going back to eating right because yeah i had march was a very dramatic month so now i'm back to myself um and i normally just take biotin maybe like in a space of a year i'll take biotin for a full month and then just pair that up with some water also if you guys see me drinking a lot of water it's because i took one of these and they're really sweet and I can still feel the sweetness in my mouth. That's the other thing. I don't have a sweet tooth. So I don't drink. If not drink. I don't. I don't drink. Yeah. I don't drink alcohol. But besides drinking alcohol. I don't snack. Like you know. On Lay's chips and Thumba chips and stuff like that i don't eat empty calories for me that's how i define them as empty calories and um these are strawberry flavored just so you know they're very nice like if you like candy and stuff you will enjoy these but i i, I don't maybe i should just take one so that you guys can believe me i read i feel like i just did like two seconds ago do you guys believe me you believe me that okay shop you believe me shop so i opened these and i ate one um these are so they say take two gummy bears daily do not over exceed oh what i took one <laughs> let's take another one <laughs> okay take two gummy bears daily perfect okay mm -hmm. if you got allergies don't take this trip mm -hmm. if you are pregnant consult with your doctor okay perfect mm. all right they say the hey goldilocks i'm not sure if i like that name Anyway, I don't think anyone is home. Isn't Goldilocks like a kid's story with the bears and shit? Goldilocks was very hungry. I'm sure whoever lives here won't notice if I have a little bit of this porridge. And I'm sure that Goldilocks was right. I'm sure whoever lives here won't mind if I rest for a little while. Because how that story unfolded. Yeah. The three bears roared. Goldilocks ran and ran. She must definitely be in white. But anyway. Hey Goldilocks, our formula contains proven ingredients beneficial for promoting hair growth and healthy hair. We'd also like to assist with your skin and our nails. So I don't know if there will be any improvement on my skin and nails because it's a little bit hard for me to tell because I'm taking these solely because you asked me to. You guys asked me to. There's 60 gummy bears. So if I'm taking two, that is 30 days, I'll be done with these, right? So in a space, so next month, this day, today is the, the 20th of April. So next month, 20th of May, I hope to God I'll remember to record a video about hair and show you guys how to, well, if anything happened to my hair, I will also just measure my hair and write that and put it up on the screen so that you guys can see because now measuring my hair and record is just going to take too much time okay i'm not going to build my expectations too high only because i'm already a healthy eater i drink my water which is like here mm. And then let me just quickly show you guys how my hair looks like. So this is a normal twist out. I used my shea butter. I, you guys know that I love raw shea butter. This is how my hair looks like. And I feel like it's been such a minute since you guys have seen my hair. Just wanted to show you a random spot. So now let us start discussing the things that you should probably start or stop doing to your hair so that you can grow your hair, right? So the first one that I want to talk about is matching the right oils with your hair. For me, right, just for me, this is just a CD thing, a CD thing. I have outgrown olive oil. I feel like all the benefits olive oil has, my hair 
has it, it has it now and i need something else okay and i think somebody said the same thing in the comment section it's just like olive oil has kind of grown like but if you're starting please start using olive oil there's absolutely nothing wrong with olive oil but i feel like my hair has graduated and i'm now i'm like really um exploring other oils that's just all it is and now i'm a big fan of grapeseed grapeseed oil i'm a big fan of flaxseed of uh sweet almond oil and i'm actually looking saying um 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 and i'm looking at my oils right now <laughs> i'm looking at my avocado oil because <laughs> those are the only ones that i really really like i also like baobab oil oh, freaking amazing but it's a bit costly but i love it love it love baobab oil then the second thing is making sure that you use heat when you deep condition and please deep condition twice in a month and get a deep conditioner that actually does its job whatever you do don't buy the perfect hair if you've got 4c hair don't buy um native child if you got 4c hair however if those two products have been working for you great kudos to you but for those <laughs> that have got hair like mine it's not it's nah just skip the two just skip the two okay and uh, make sure that you are using heat because since i've since coils care has sent me the huda dryer i do tr i truly truly feel the difference in my hair um compared to when i didn't have it because even though you you do leave a deep conditioner on your hair for like an hour or so it's still when you use he when you add heat to that you just get double the benefits okay and you really really do get your money's worth when you add heat to your hair then just using a normal satin pillowcase is going to it's gonna work millions for you i suggest that you do that or because for me even though i would cover up uh like my hair tied up with a bonnet or whatever bonnets fly bonnets have like a community secret community at night where they're like okay at 1 15 slide out slide out of the hair we'll meet outside by the trees that's just what they do okay so uh, make sure that you double up okay just in case because you don't you don't want that you don't want a mistake silly mistakes okay if you are using products and oils and all that kind of stuff and in the morning you find your oils and products chilling on your pillow which means you're probably not using the right products because or you don't know your hair porosity okay i've got videos on all of everything that i'm mentioning today about porosity oils natural hair after care that's what i call it making sure that you use the right accessories for your hair like pillowcases satin bonnets um using a microfiber towel to dry your hair or a t-shirt to dry your hair all the kind of stuff so then the other thing is detangling detangling i know i know you guys want to make sure that your wash day goes as quick as possible but i cannot stress this enough like if you are one of those that use like a tangle teaser or detangling brush and it works for you doesn't cause breakage good for you but if you cannot use it and your hair is kind of like mine i i personally feel like then they all those brushes those tools were not designed for me like i i don't like it i don't like the sound my hair makes when i'm brushing my hair I really don't so use your fingers you guys know I'm the queen of finger detangling I love that shit low manipulation hairstyles leave your hair alone leave your hair alone your hair loves being left alone leave it alone don't be finicky don't be like in your hair all the time don't want to fix that now you want to do a twist out then tomorrow you want to do bunty knots and then the following day you want to do this and you want to do that leave your hair alone it loves being left alone it will grow by itself like just leave it alone i'm not gonna go into like moisturizing and stuff but just leave your hair alone just leave it alone it will grow put it in a protective style that you guys can see your hair is growing for me i'll always advocate for twists because that's how i've been growing my hair and that's how i'm still growing my hair even though this year i am incorporating i think i'll probably just put these in a thread african threading and just be done and obviously take your pills kids <laughs> i'm kidding don't don't you don't need them just eat right just eat that's the last thing i want to add eat right eat right drink your spinach juices celery juices cucumber juices eat that up eat drink up eat up and your hair your skin you guys see the skin you guys see the skin i'm gonna come back with a updated skincare routine showing you guys my skin because you know what i think it's time i think it's time so guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll definitely see you guys in my next one and bye for now